What's up, what's up, what's up, y'all? What's up, what's up, my people? What's up, what's up? How are you doing? I'm doing good. All right. Yeah, we're going to be reviewing Godzilla vs. Kong. I'm Jay. And I'm Lainey. So we are going to be talking about it. All right, so let's talk about it. Let's go. All right. So, uh, Godzilla vs. Kong. All right, talk about it. Well, first of all, it stars Millie Bobby Brown. Mm hmm. And Alexander Skarsgård. Um, yes, and also Rebecca Hall. Um, Brian Tyree. And that little girl, um, I think her name is Kaylee Hartle. Yes, she's so yeah, cute, actually. Definitely. So, um, of course, Adam Wingard star, um, directed it. Sorry, mm -hmm. star. Um, he directed it, and of course, he's gonna be the next the, the director for uh, Thundercats. I'm, oh, I'm excited about it. First of all, I'm an 80s baby. <laughs> born and raised so yep. i'm excited about that yeah I am we can talk about that another time exactly oh. so let's go uh godzilla versus kong and um i just want to throw it throw it out, out there on the table that um i'm not much of uh of uh what you may call it now a monster movie fan that the monsters are like extremely extremely large okay uh, I, i'm not so you don't like kaijus fan. or Attack of the no, Titans not. or something like that. You don't like those kind of movies. Not really. Depending okay. on, 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 because to me, it's just like total mass destruction kind of thing. So there's not much of a possible um, uh, idea of what what is being set within the movie. Okay. And it's just like two monsters fighting and everyone is dying in the process. Gotcha. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah. I, I agree with you because like, for instance, Especially coming into these movies, like when we get into like sequel bait, I love to actually watch the movies beforehand so I can kind of mm. get into the universe and understand what's going on. Exactly. So watching this, the movies beforehand, you have Godzilla, who is basically like a hero, and Kong, who is also basically like a hero. Mm. And then now we're supposed to see them match up against each other. Exactly. And again, I appreciate that you're saying like, what could be the plot of a movie of just basically monsters mashing up with each other? Yeah. With that being said, Definitely. though, mm -hmm. this matchup was kind of cool. Yeah, it was kind of cool. To me, um, you know, of course, we actually been watching like the Godzilla movies, the King Kong movies and, and mm -hmm. everything from there on. Um, you know, with the last movie that we've seen, the, um, the King, Godzilla, of the Monster. King of the Monsters mm -hmm. was a little bit whack for me. I but liked it. You liked it? Uh, and and that's the thing, it. and that's the thing, because um, for some reason, it scored really bad. On it did, it did, I mean? and, and I'm okay people, with that. I like people that. had some some bad issues about it, but to me, I just it's, I, that goes to what I was saying earlier. Mm -hmm. It's like the monsters are just there, and you know the fight scenes. And it's really thrilling to watch and everything. So why don't we talk you about that I mean? then? So, yeah. If that be the case, so what did you like about the fight scenes, and which ones did you like better? Well, you know what. From a designer perspective, I like the visual effects. The okay. visual effects was totally great, and of course, we watched it. Uh, we watched it the in IMAX, IMAX. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So the sound and the quality of the the visuals was awesome. <laughs> just, Probably awesome. Okay, um, I'm gonna have to agree with you on that. Mm. Um, like I said, we 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 went to go watch it in IMAX, and it it was dope. The mm. the surround sound, oh, you, yeah. you were really immersed in what was going on. Exactly, and like. The fact that they did different ways of having the same fight, mm. I appreciate it. Yeah. So like at first I was like, are they really about to fight in the middle of the ocean? Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, but they did it they, they, they and did it, it was, made sense it, it was for what was cool, going actually. on. It was pretty cool. You know what I mean? Yeah, that fight scene was pretty cool. And then when they fought back on land and then they had, or, or I should, I should say Godzilla had his his, his um, axe. axe. Mm. Th I want that, that axe. Was, that was that was. You, awesome. you know I have a keyblade. Yeah. You know I have a master awesome. sword. That was awesome. I want that axe now. That's gonna be my next geek thing to get. The girl that played that 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 um, standing for the communication with 
King Kong and the humans. Mm -hmm. That was pretty smart. So first, I, she was cute, the little girl was yeah, cute. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. I disagree with you. I kind of felt like, I felt like there were characters that were redundant. Mm -hmm. um, that you didn't need that many characters, especially for what was going on. Let's just get yeah. into the fight, that's it, yeah. right? You didn't really need the side um, quest with Millie Bobby Brown, and I, I forgot the kid from Deadpool, but he was funny too. Mm -hmm. um, but you didn't really need that side quest, and also Brian Tyree. Like, I felt like some of his jokes were, were taking away from what was going on, mm. but I liked the background of what he stood for. Yeah. But again, you didn't need all even three of that. Yeah, just just a, have the yeah, one person be of, like that, right? There's a lot of characters I, I never really agreed with. Right. You know, and, and so like I said, the little Tyree girls. Was one of them. Right. And mm -hmm. and the little girl I think also was like redundant. Either have a little girl or or have the scientist but I don't know. It just You, it's you know just what to me I think the little girl was placed there for a reason. And um, one of the deep reasons was the communication with in sign languages with King Kong, which is which I can understand. I you know? get what you're saying, but I I think that the way that she was used, she was used as clearly the emotional anchor, mm. and it was just for like long shots and just her looking really really cute at the at the camera and mm. staring up at King Kong. He was stared down at her, and they might touch or something. Like it was that, it was. That, I, 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 I think, personally I think, think that they could it was a misuse well, you know okay it, and they and they wasted time on that character where it could have been more about just the monsters give me the monsters if you're gonna go king kong mm. versus um godzilla give me the monsters have them fight it out let's go um the purpose with mecha godzilla um i don't know i i, I, I you know I, I liked it but to be placed at the end of the movie was kind of was kind of getting me away from the whole ordeal i mean if it was in hmm. a in a different perspective where mecha godzilla um like they built mecha godzilla and it started having a mind of its own kind of thing and they were like they, you know mecha godzilla was like um, destroying certain parts of, of, of certain countries or whatever. Mm -hmm. I don't see the reason of Mecha Godzilla was that only came for a few minutes of the final cut of the movie. And you know, already you already know what's gonna happen. They're gonna double team and, and, and that's it. You know what I mean? At first I was gonna disagree <laughs> with you, but I, I agree with you. It kinda reminded me of like Batman um, Superman. Right, when they had Batman vs Superman for like 10 seconds yeah. and then the final act was Doomsday. Mm. That was Mega Godzilla. Yeah, exactly. So it, it, That would have made it, a, I'd say, a standalone movie. Mm, I know. I, I think that was just basically, I think Mega Godzilla was basically placed because of, of uh, fans um, reaction of saying that, well, you know, we need a Mecha Godzilla or Agreed. whatever the case Agreed. is. Agreed. Agreed. Just to get the fans riled up. Agreed. Um, but I, 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 to me, I think that you know the whole idea of Mecha Godzilla to be in it was a little bit off for me. I I, I didn't really like it. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm just saying. I I did, mm. but I get what you're saying. Mm. Like I did like Mecha Godzilla in there. I kind of thought that it was kind of cool. They went like kind of old Terminator-ish, where they got now a mind of its own. Mm. But um, I think that it was underused. Mm. Um, just to have it as a patch on for like the last five minutes, I think yeah. it was underused. But I also think that that was because they didn't want to have a clear winner and a clear loser. Yeah, that's true. And because of that, you had to have a third antagonist. Mm. Unfortunately, I think that that would have gone so much better if you had um, the two of them square off and then bring in some of the plot devices of what happened in King of the Monsters where you had a whole bunch of other kaiju just waking up. Yeah. That would have been cool. That would have been cool. Okay? Yeah. But I, I, obviously I that was that. done, so they wanted to do something else, and I, I get it. <laughs> but, um, you know, I, I, did, I did appreciate my God's love. You know what I would like to see more of? Mm. Hollow Earth. The other, yeah, that was so beautiful. That, that was so cool. Yeah, I, I mean, and you know what? It, it, it at first I was like, I was like questioning it a bit, but I was like, you know what? It's just a movie, and I'm just gonna go with it. So the whole, the whole entire scene with the um the Hollow Earth mm -hmm. was superb. I I want to I, see. I, I I think I'd want to see a movie with with Hollow Earth. Yes. And especially you know I mean? if you saw where King Kong was like, yo, I'm the man. Plus sat his on his Exactly. Plus he his sat backstory. on his throne and he got his axe or whatever. I'm like, oh, 
this is a real thing. It's not mm. even just like this cave or whatever. No, this yeah. is a real thing. Yeah. I want to see that movie. Yeah, I'd love to see that movie, especially knowing that the backstory of Kong was dwelled upon his family. Oh. Just to see King Kong's lineage of his family basically were warriors. You know what I mean? I'd want to see that with with in association with everything that's going on in in Hall of Hearts. I think that, that that might be the next thing, especially because at the end you saw that they actually made um, a settlement mm. down there. Mm -hmm. So I really do think if they go on more, mm -hmm. that the next one is going to be in Hall Earth. In the future of these monster movies, will there be more, and what will be the next movie for? I feel like I just answered that. Hmm. I feel like I just answered that. Yeah, well, well, that's what you want to see. But what will the studios of Warner Brothers bring to the table in terms of I them being bringing another monster movie to the to the scope? So you know we can see exactly what's going on with the because I think they want to expand this whole monster thing um, to the next level. So you know Warner Brothers <laughs> just pay me the little consulting fee or whatever. We can talk about Hollow Earth and how we can make that a new movie. Right. Oh. So what's your good, what's your three good and your three bad geeks? Loved Hollow Earth, pretty cool with Mechagodzilla. Obviously what we came to see, Godzilla versus Kong, it was satisfying. The redundancy of the characters, I would say Millie Bobby Brown's character, um, and I get her motivation, but like, yeah. Just pick one of them to do it. She was so cute, but I wasn't a fan of the, of the little girl. Don't get me wrong, she was so cute. My three good and bad geeks, I love the fight scene. Mm -hmm. um, that, that ship, <coughs> the ship fight scene was crazy, it was off the chain. Um, the all of her earth scene was wonderful. I love the visual aspect of it. I love the backstory of Kong's, Kong's homeland, everything. I love that scene. Mm -hmm. And King Kong versus Godzilla fight scene was epic. Dope. It was dope. I mean, I'm not talking about King Kong, versus Godzilla versus Mecha. I, I, I wasn't a big fan of that. My three bad. At first, for some reason, it was a little bit confusing to me at first. Just the whole lineup of how, why Godzilla started like, um, you know, trying to attack certain things and whatever. It, yes. It started to get explained, but it, I don't think it was explained properly. I, you, you probably might, might not see it, but the, there's a certain part, there's a certain portion of the Mecha Godzilla and the Godzilla fight scene that looked like a toy set. I mean, it, they all do, it, but yeah, it looked like a miniature fight scene, like you know, one of those old Japanese Godzilla movies <laughs> that you see, like the toy, like the toy tree falling over. Mm -hmm. It, it kind of felt like that. Of course, I'm not a big fan of the, the the overwhelming monster movies, so that's the only thing for me that I, I don't like. Right, so out of five, I will give it 3.8, 3.8. I'll give it 3.5. 3.5. Yeah, it's yeah. proficient, but. Yeah, it's good, it's it good. good. I mean, but it's it good wasn't to watch. Yeah, it's good to watch, but overall, you know. I would like some more fight scenes. A bit more. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, that's us. Who is you again? Jay. Who is me again? Lainey. <laughs> and we're at Geek by Heart. Listen, follow us on IG and follow us here. If you like what we had to say, please comment. Hello, let us know. Subscribe. All right. And we will see you for the next movie event of the year. We coming at you. Peace.